you just want the 12 o'clock to come so you can get to the races and, and get amongst it. But, so is this substituting the ex-footy adrenaline I can see on your face right uh, now? <laughs> possibly. But I was more nervous um, before a horse race than I was before a game. Yeah. I think I had some... You look more excited. Too. Yeah, I know. I was as excited after a horse race and after a game of footy for one as well. So. so Danny wants the trainer. Yep. And how does he pick the perfect horse that's going to win for me? So that's what you do, you let them pick it. So you don't pick it. Okay? I don't, no. it's not on colour, It's not on colour or looks or Do anything. I get to name it? You do get to know them, so now they get. Now um, you're convincing me. So now it? they get 20 people in the race book as well, 20 names. So you don't have to have, you don't have to own a whole race horse yourself. So I guess Danny Morton, here I come. Go and see Danny and um, get the next man booker. Get your winner. Get the next man booker. <laughs> Will I see you at the track? <laughs> yeah, you see me regularly there. Perfect. How are you? How you going, Ryan? I need to speak to, apparently. Sounds like a plan. So, where do we start? Where exactly are we today? Uh, well, so, yeah, obviously we're at the yearling sales and um, we start in the book for a start. We're just looking for, uh, you know, pedigrees that stand out to us and um, then we're obviously looking for the, you know, looking for, to find the perfect athlete to go with it. Um, so, what makes an athletic horse? Uh, there's a lot that ties into it, but, you know, you, you're pretty much just looking for a, you know, a well put together horse, you know, Good, good bone underneath them. Mm -hmm. They got a good length on, about them, and you know, scope to the point where they're going to, you know, grow into a nice filly at the end of the day. With all your experience, is it a sort of the luck of the draw thing, or you're you're pretty handy now at knowing exactly what to look for? Oh, there's a degree of luck that comes into it as well, but you know. You just got to try and stack the numbers in your favour as much as you can, and that's why you know we do no end of homework in the book. And I've got you know my dad's involved heavily um, with a wealth of knowledge that helps me along the way as well. So uh, we like to think we do a good job, and we've been pretty lucky out of this sale. So yeah, hopefully our next champion will come from here. Yes, yeah, so someone like me relies on someone like you to find a champion, and that's, that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, so with a little bit of luck, we'll be bidding on this filly. So she'll yeah, be okay. a little way into the day, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got our eye on her, that's for sure. Don't tell anyone, is this the point where you're not allowed to walk around and actually have well, these conversations probably, in front yeah, of people? We're dragging attention to this, this like, one at I the know, moment. I know, it's like, keep walking. <laughs> that's it. It's like a secret squirrels around here. Oh, it's, and it gets even funnier when you get up in the bidding ring and people don't want to see who's bidding, you know, yeah. so they've they got their little signals of how they go about bidding and what. Do they send in minions to do it for them? Some people do, and some people are hiding behind the trees and posts and all that sort of thing, but um, yeah. I could imagine that people would be looking at you, though, to see what you're wanting to do and maybe play a little bit of that. Maybe, yeah. It probably happens a little bit, but yeah, so we don't worry about that. You know, if you want to buy the horse, you buy the horse Just at the end buy of the day. It. That's yeah. It. yeah. Grant, there's a lot going on today. What's actually happening out there? Look, it's all happening for breeders. Obviously, uh, they've taken two and a half years in the making to get their horses here today. This is their grand final, I suppose. And uh, hopefully the buyers that are on the other side of the fence trying to get them for as cheap as they can are going to find their next future stars at the racetrack. They're yearlings, they're one year old. They have never had a saddle on their back, they're unbroken as such. So they've, um, from here they'll go away and go through the process of educating and ridden. At the moment they're handled to be led round. Um, but that's how we sell them, we sell them unbroken, untried, so that no one's getting an unfair advantage. They're getting purely horses that are just, they're, they're brand new, they haven't been touched. So you really don't know what you're getting? No you don't, and it doesn't matter what you pay, at all ranges of the spectrum, We've got some of the wealthiest people in the world that race horses around the globe. And to be fair, they don't win all the races. If you go and buy the most expensive horse and win all the races, if it was that easy, then a lot of people wouldn't be involved in the game. There's so many great stories, great value stories, cheap options of getting involved in racing. Um, and that's been some great su some success stories that have been huge. At the end of the day, the pedigree just tells you how much you have to pay. Uh, and you're trying to find an athlete. You're trying to find the horse that looks like to you will run the fastest. I suppose it's no different than when you look at young football players going through the footy draft, um, trying to pick the next superstar, you know? The and next Andrew Embley, the next oh, yeah. Nick Adenui, those sort of players. Selling my children. Yeah, well, that's right. 
that's it. It's all about what the person sees in the horse. There's no rules and whatever you, you might find something that really attracts you to a horse and that's a great thing. That's 70,000 on their side. That's 70,000 now. She goes bidding for 70,000. I don't want to be anywhere. That's 70,000 now. This time all done, she goes down bidding. 80,000 bid now. 80,000 there in front. 80,000. Say 90, sir. What do you think? I'm an 80 here now. She's a quality individual. She's got the pedigree behind it. She's got all the best blood in the world working for you as well. Have a look at the filly as she walks around in front of you. I'm an 80,000 now. She's got to be sold by sell. Make no mistake, I cash her. An 80,000 now. An 80,000, but she's got to be sold by sell that good looking filly. So I bought a horse, I think Danny said it was the brown one. I am so excited and I can't wait to continue the journey.